For a number of years the U.S. Army had no dedicated light tank. A previous light tank development for the U.S. Army, the Armored Gun System Program, which resulted in creation of the M8 Buford, was cancelled in 1996. This left the U.S. Airborne Forces low on firepower. Though a light, mobile and rapidly deployable tank was required for low-intensity conflicts, that could take some roles of a main battle tank. The U.S. Army tried to fill this gap with an M1128 fire support vehicle based on a Stryker armored personnel carrier. This 8x8-wheeled fire support vehicle was fitted with a 105mm turret. It was adopted in 2007. However soon it turned out that the M1128 Stryker mobile gun system had a number of shortcomings. Also it was lightly armored and was vulnerable to mine blasts. The M1128 was produced only in small numbers. It was announced that the M1128 will be scrapped in favor of new light tank. The U.S. Army came up with a mobile protected firepower, MPF, program to procure a new light tank. In 2017 the U.S. Army issued requests for proposals. Originally there were three proposals from General Dynamics, DAE Systems and a team of SAIC, ST Kinetics and CMI Defense. General Dynamics offered a Griffin the second light tank, BAE Systems proposed an improved version of the M8 Buford, while the team of three companies offered a light tank variant on the Hunter Infantry Fighting Vehicle. In 2018 the Hunter with a 105mm turret was downselected. The BAE's proposal was disqualified in 2022. As a result General Dynamics was the only contender left with its Griffin the second light tank. During the same year a $1.14 billion production contract for production of 96 light tanks was awarded to General Dynamics to build the new light tank for the U.S. Army. It is planned that first tanks will be delivered by the end of 2023. First unit will be equipped with these tanks in 2025. Previously it was planned that the U.S. Army will acquire a total of 504 of these tanks. Once in service the new light tank will operate in infantry brigade combat teams. These rapid deployment brigades are equipped with various versions of the Stryker 8x8 armored personnel carrier. Operational concept behind these brigades is stressed on deployability, and maneuverability for counterinsurgency operations. The whole brigade can be airlifted and deployed anywhere in the world within 96 hours. The new light tank was designed to provide direct fire support for assaulting infantry. It can destroy hardened positions in buildings and field fortifications. Some of its roles are to destroy hostile machine gun positions and snipers. The Griffin II has little in common with the Griffin Technology Demonstrator, which was unveiled by General Dynamics in 2016 as a conversation starter for the MPF program. It was first publicly revealed in 2019. Interestingly the Griffin II uses some of the components developed for the British Ajax light tank. The tank is armed with an M35 105mm low recoil gun. This rifled gun was originally developed for the US Army's Armored Gun System program, that was cancelled in 1996. It can fire M900 APFSDST, M456A2ET, M393A2HEDT, and W416 WPT ammunition. This tank has an advanced fire control system and thermal imaging hardware which is similar to that of the M1A2 SAP V3 tank. Tank commander uses a panoramic sight with thermal imaging. Threats can be identified at great distances. The tank can detect targets at a range of a whooping 15.4 kilometers, though it can identify them at a range of 4 kilometers. It has a hunter-killer engagement capability. The tank commander searches for targets and can pass target's engagement procedure to the gunner. There is a coaxial 7.62 mm machine gun. Another 12.7 mm machine gun is mounted on the turret roof. The turret is of aluminum alloy armor construction. Actually it is called as a scaled-down turret of the Abrams main battle tank. It is equipped with a composite spaced armor in the turret cheeks and add-on armor. Ammunition is stored in the turret bustle and is separated from the crew by blowout panels. The turret rotates faster than on most other tanks. Tank's hull is based on the Ascot 2 infantry fighting vehicle, which was a product of General Dynamics. Though that many changes were made to the hull's design, that it can be considered a new design. There were reports that the hull of the prototype withstands 30 mm rounds on the frontal arc and 14.5 mm rounds on the sides. All-round protections is against small arms fire and artillery shell splinters, though actual level of protection could change on production tanks. A Metrovib Pilar V acoustic gunshot detection system was selected for the MPF light tank. This crew warning system is located at the rear of the turret. Information about gunshots is reported through the vehicle's combat management system. This tank is operated by a crew of four, including commander, gunner, loader and driver. 
The tank is powered by an MTU MT881 diesel engine, developing one 100 horsepower engine is located at the front of the hull. It is mated to an Allison automatic gearbox with four forward and two reverse speeds. The tank has a hydropneumatic suspension. The new light tank can be airlifted. A C-17 military transport can carry two of these tanks. Furthermore, these two tanks will roll out in combat-ready status. Judging by the $1.14 billion low-rate initial production contract for a batch of 96 tanks, the unit price of this light tank is nearly $12 million. Most likely that this figure also includes training and some of the servicing costs. Still though this makes it the most expensive tank in the world today. The Griffin II light tank is more expensive than the way more capable main battle tanks, such as the M1A2 Abrams, German Leopard 2A7, South Korean K2 Black Panther and so on, though unit price should come down eventually when mass production begins.